This video is not a substitute for the lifter's instructions. Read and understand the entire instruction manual before using any vacuum lifter. Carefully open the box and remove all packing materials. Pull the tilt release lever and raise the lift bar to the upright position. Attach your hoisting equipment to the lift spool and gently raise the lifter from the box. Never raise the lifter unless the lift bar is in the upright position. Remove the pad covers, then connect the battery to the charger and vacuum generating system and insert the battery included for the power loss warning buzzer by pressing the battery holder inward and sliding the tray out. Before you put the lifter into service, perform the required inspections and tests as directed in the instruction manual. Place the lifter on the center of the material to prevent any unexpected rotation or tilting. Press the on button. Then press the apply button. This starts the pump. After both gauges show vacuum in the green zone, the green lift light will also turn on to signal that the load can be lifted. If the vacuum level ever falls below 16 inches of mercury, the green lift light turns off and the lifter also has a low vacuum warning buzzer that will sound whenever vacuum is below the minimum level. If the green lift light turns off, stay clear of the load and, if possible, lower it safely to the ground. Do not resume normal use of the lifter until the cause of the vacuum loss is fixed. Make sure there is enough clearance for the load to tilt. Do not use the rotation lever at the same time. This can cause unexpected load movement that could harm the operator. Pull the tilt release lever and lift up or press down on a control handle to tilt the load. Make sure there is enough clearance for the load to rotate and keep a firm grip on one control handle. Pull the rotation release lever to select a position, simply let go of the rotation release lever so that the latch can re-engage. Make sure the load is fully supported and secure before releasing the lifter. While continuing to hold the enable and release buttons, carefully raise the lifter until the pads are clear of the load. Once your work is complete, press the enable and on button to shut off the lifter. The lifter can rest on its control handle against an appropriate support to protect the pads from damage. To transport or store the lifter, disconnect the battery from the vacuum generating system. Charge the battery completely and then disconnect the battery from the charger. Place the pad covers back over the pads, lower the lifter into the box and unhook the hoisting equipment. Reuse the original packing materials to protect the lifter. Once you have closed the box, your lifter is ready to move to the next job. You can download a copy of the instructions for your specific lifter from WPG.com.